Hello, we're going to make a four page website using wordpress.com and we're going to do it in 15 minutes. So let's get started and see if we can actually do that. Right, we'll go to wordpress.com, log in. Right, now what we want to do now, oh, we've got to actually go to our dashboard. So hover over your username in the top right hand corner go down to the site you want to deal with and click dashboard <coughs> pardon me right what we need to do now is make some pages so we've got to pages add new that was pages there we go pages add new and we're going to call this one home now we're going to paste in from um, a Microsoft Word document or a, if you've got a word processor it, I've tried this with several word processors and it works with all the ones I've tried it with so just format the text in the word processor and then copy it and then we'll go back to our WordPress website and where's this paste this button here is a paste from word button so click that button and then control V to paste the text click insert now on the home page I want to add a picture so we'll just click inside the page where you want the picture to be I want it here at the near the top paragraph click this little camera button here where it says upload or insert now we've got to navigate on your desktop or wherever you've got your pictures on your computer so I'll navigate to find them I want this red truck here so click once you've found it just select it click open and it will upload it for you right if you want to you can click it, this alternate text you can add some text that would describe the image um, click left center or right alignment and choose the size of the image you want you could have thumbnail medium large or full size so we want a medium sized image which is 300 wide click insert into post and there's the picture in the page so on this page I want it to be the template um, with a sidebar we're using 2011 theme um, it's, it's a WordPress theme called 2011 and it's got these different sidebar templates so I'm going to click sidebar template and then click publish and that's our home page made right make sure it's actually saved the changes there we go so we need to make another page so what it says edit page at the top there just click the add new page we're going to add a new page and we'll call this one um, about it's about us and then copy the text you've made in your word processor and just paste it in there in the paste from word button this there this button the paste from word button click insert I think it's a good idea to to format your text in your word processor first and then you can just paste it in here it's really a good idea the, the template we're going to use is the default one on this particular page um, which won't have a sidebar but do we just need now to publish the page we can a, a default template in the theme we're using 2011 a default template does not have a sidebar and a sidebar template does the showcase template is a different thing I'll show you that in a different video right so we need another page so click add a new again so what else do we need our oh, services oh, well, a page for our services And we'll paste again using the paste from word button some text we've already done in our word processor paste it in there and click insert right oh, excuse me <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me right so we're using again we're using the default template with no sidebar click publish We need to just make one more page which is going to be our contact us page so um, we're going to 
paste this text into the page we need to add a new page it's going to be the contact us page and we yet again just click the paste from word button and paste click insert and then publish right so now if we view the page there's a button here that says view page so we'll click that and we'll see we've got about contact home and services but we want to rearrange the order of these and when somebody goes to your home page they, they won't see the page that we want to be home page yet. we've got to set it I made these these are blog posts and I've made these to show you something about the sidebar right so first of all what we're going to do is set the home page <laughs> excuse me <coughs> I do I do beg your pardon we want to set the home page as um, our, our our home page so we need to make a new menu bar so how do we do that we need to go back to our uh, dashboard and we need to find appearance menu so we'll go to appearance here and then find menus right we're going to make a new menu so click in here and call your menu anything you want I'm going to call mine at my menu so then click create menu and now all we need to do is to add the pages to our menu I want to add all the pages I've made so I'll just click select all add to menu and they've been added here now they're not in the order I want them so I'm going to drag them so home I want to be the first <laughs> button wants to be home and then I want services and love about and then contact I'll have it in that order if you want to change the text supposing you had services and programs we offer and it was a long text for the button and you want to change it just click that little arrow and you can type whatever you want in there and that'll be the text that appears on the button I'm going to leave it with leave it as services so I'll click save menu again right so let's go back to our website we'll refresh the page and see what's what, what's what now forgotten to do something well I'll tell you what I forgot to do see where it says theme locations we've got to switch on the menu so choose the menu we're using there in this theme locations in appearance menus when we make the menu choose the menu that we've made and click Save and we'll click this same menu button just to be on the safe side and then now when we reload the page instead of having two home buttons we'll only have one and we'll have it in the order we we made the menu there we go so now we've got home services about contact right so we want the home page to be this one and at the moment it's not so we've got to set it to make sure that this page is the page people see when they first um, land on your web website so what we need to do we need to go to settings down here reading and then here where it says front page displays click a static page and then where it says front page select we're going to choose one we called home you can pick whichever one you want but obviously we, we made the home page to be the home page so we could choose that one so it's that static page button and to choose the home page then click save changes right well I'll tell you what we're going to do now if you have a look here we can choose this picture and we I've got a picture of a motorbike to put in there so all we need to do it's got to be 1000 pixels wide and 288 pixels high if it's not that size it won't work 
so I'll make sure that that's the size it is 1000 by 288 so now we need to go to appearance header and here we can choose the image we want so when it says brow there upload image we're going to um, navigate to our desktop and find the image we want to use so um, let's have a look I want to use this motorbike picture here so navigate to the image select it and click open excuse me <coughs> oh dear EBI I'm, I'm sorry right let's have a look click upload right so there we go that's the image we're going to have so we need to click save and we'll have another look at our website refresh the page there we go it's got the header image there so there's one thing more we need to do this bit here the sidebar what we're going to do we're going to make it so if I make any blog post tomorrow or next week they'll automatically appear here so if we do that with a thing called widgets so back in appearance we're looking for widgets and we're going to drag a widget from here to here that's called recent posts it's this one here and this recent post widget will automatically find the most recent blog posts you've made and put them um, in the side put links to them in the sidebar so we'll call it my recent poster blog post oh. my recent blog posts number of posts to show we could put five or ten or whatever we want in there click save no I've actually made three blog posts just to show you that how this works basically but every time you added a new blog post you can have it so it automatically pops up in that uh, that sidebar so this is where it's going to appear so we refresh the page and there we go my recent blog posts so if I made a new one today <laughs> excuse me <coughs> oh pardon me if I made a new blog post here um, it would automatically be added to the top of this list so that's all we need to know we've made a complete website in 15 minutes or less I do hope you enjoy WordPress and if you want to know more go to using-wordpress.org thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon bye